Hi there, Ariana from Crafting Happiness here. Today I'm going to show you how to start the blanket for Lion the Lovey pattern. This is an intermediate pattern and the instruction can be um, somewhat complicated. It doesn't really follow the regular crochet. We kind of shift each round forwards, um, but you will see why. Um, I switch different colors so you can see where the stitches go and I'll show you first six rounds from where you can pick up and continue to make your blanket. Now we continue with the third round and um, a rule for this pattern is that we always start from the stitch next uh, following the uh, slip stitch that we've made. So where you slip stitch in there, we do not count that as a stitch. We start from the next stitch. And then skip. And each of these repeats represent a petal. So when you have a repeat, you know that it has to come from the bottom dip all the way to the top and back into the dip. And that's one repeat. Don't do it in this. The stitch is right here. Sometimes because there's too many stitches here, it gets covered. But this is your stitch here, the double crochet. Make a single crochet in there. As a rule, when we decrease, we will not slip stitch. When we skip a stitch, we slip stitch and start from the following stitch. Um, this will happen every other row. On this row, we decrease, so we do not slip stitch. We continue with round five. Let me switch colors and then into the next a bobble and we use a bobble made with five incomplete double crochet. If your yarn is a uh, thicker you uh, can do a four incomplete or even three incomplete bobbles but 14 yarn like the double knit um, you will need five. And now we have the bobble um, we uh, will work at the back of your blanket so the bobble will pop up on the other side. If you really want to, you can always push them, they are double sided, but like that it's fine. Just like that. Yeah. And from this point on, it's a repeat of rounds five and six basically, and you'll have the bobbles popping up like this, and they will be a really nice moving uh, offset from uh, one another. And uh, yeah, this is how you start the blanket for Lion the Lamb. And I hope this tutorial um, clarified a few of the points. I know it's an intermediate pattern and some of the instructions can be quite complicated. But once you get the hang of it, it is quite easy. Mm -hmm.